but health benefits don't stop just to exercise for a dog. Having a dog in your house introduces germs and other bacteria, which help let your immune system get accustomed to, and it causes you to become sick less, less to have allergies, and also uh, reduces your chance to get eczema. Also, infants are less likely to develop allergies, 19% with dogs versus the 33% without dogs. So if you can help your child, or if you can let them be able to not get, if you can reduce their chance to not have an, a pet allergy, why not have a dog? Next slide, please. My last point today is that dogs come in a wide variety. According to psychology.com, there is 339 different breeds of dogs, while cathouse.org states that there is only 36 species of cats. This means that there is literally a dog for everybody, from the Great Pyrenees all the way down to the teacup chihuahua. Popeye allergenic, long hair, short hair, doesn't matter. And then you have your cats. You basically, it's a ball of fur, you guys. Next slide, please. <laughs> In conclusion, <laughs> dogs are loyal, tradable creatures that are beneficial to your health. The saying is, a cat, you do not own a cat, a cat owns you, and then a house is not a home without a dog. Do you want to be that one person without a loyal companion and not have a, and have a house instead of a home? Thank you for your time. No, no. <laughs>